One thing that really inspires me is when I see others who are struggling, um, particularly with like drug addiction, and I see them come out of it and live just the most incredible, massively successful life, man. Take Grant Cardone, for instance. He talks about he was a drug addict at a young age. And um, I, I, Lecrae, Lecrae is a hip hop artist. He was a drug addict as a kid. And Josh Hamilton, he was a drug addict. I love hearing stories of people who were able to get out of that, that hard, like, you know, that stigma of addiction and be able to make something with their life. Mm -hmm. Now, what's your definition of entrepreneurialism? Someone who's willing to take whatever it takes and to never give up on building a financial freedom, a financial future built upon, you know, a specific reason in life. So like their why. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people, they try to start a business and they don't realize how much really work goes into it. And then most people give up. Most people give up before they've even started to build a business for their financial freedom or their financial future. And I consider four aspects to be super important to building financial freedom and financial wealth. It's faith, family, health, and um, money. <laughs> so yeah. not giving up, man, and, and building businesses regardless of the hate that's there. Where will you be five years from now? Uh, definitely should be a millionaire because that's my goal. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I talk a lot about money, especially in my personal brand, like joshtharian.com. And um, that's where people can buy my book, by the way, is my website. They can sign up for the book launch, I should say, which is February 17th. But I talk a lot about money in there. And uh, a part of Make a Change, Inc. is financial education for kids. The reason I talk about that is because money is such a hated topic. But that's because people don't like it. You know, people think it's evil when the truth is loving money is what's evil. You can... You build a future. I mean, there's nothing better in the world. And I haven't done this person, but I know there's nothing better in the world than if, like, my aunt or a brother-in-law, uh, you know, needs my help in their health and in, in health circumstances. I can be there. We don't have to worry about health insurance covering it, or, um, you know, building generational wealth so my kids never have to experience what I may have experienced as a kid. Um, you know, money is. I don't just want to have money or be a millionaire for for riches and glory. Don't get me wrong. I want to provide for my family in the best ways possible. I want to um, enjoy my life. But it's if it's surrounded by your purpose in life and your why in life, um, money's a good thing, man. And that's where I see myself in five years.